Oh, hello. In today's video, we're going to talk about how you can set up Reaper's sound library setup so that you can have all your sounds, however big or small your library is, inside of Reaper, ready to go at any time. So let's get into it. Okay, so here we are in Reaper, and I want to show you where this Media Explorer really is. And if you don't know what that is at all, it's basically a sound search engine for all the audio that you have on your computer or within specific locations. So if you want to bring that up, you just have to go to View and go to Media Explorer. Now, if you're using an app like Soundly or Audio Finder or Basshead or anything like that, this works very similarly. Now, I prefer to actually use Reaper's built-in sound library kind of search engine setup because it's so much faster, considering, again, it's built right into Reaper. But if you're already using Soundly or some other third-party piece of software, totally keep using that. That's totally fine. This is basically just a built-in version of those things. But if you don't know what this is at all, if you never kind of experienced what these sorts of search engines work like. Basically, I have all the sound effects that I have on my giant hard drive in this folder, kind of ready to go at any time. They're already pre-categorized. And I could theoretically type in something like fire and have all my fire sounds or anything with the word fire in it pop up and make it much easier for me to work with. So it makes things much, much, much faster when you're doing sound design. So first thing I recommend you do with any kind of new command that you're doing, instead of needing to go to View and Media Explorer over and over again, is to set up what's known as an action for things that you're gonna use all the time. So to do that, you go to Actions, and then go to Show Action List. Now, basically, this is a giant list of shortcuts that you can set up within Reaper. So what we can do is I am going to type in Media Explorer. And I already have Show Hide Media Explorer set up here for Option Shift M. You can set it up to whatever you want, but I just want to remind you, set up an action for anything you're going to use a lot. And if you're going to use Reaper as your main DAW, especially, you are going to use this a lot. So set up a shortcut for it right now. Then you won't have to worry about it ever again. Now, how you can start setting this up is to right click in this left hand section here where it says shortcut and you can say create new database. And basically you can name it whatever you want. So I'll just name this like sound effects tutorial. You can name it anything you want. Doesn't matter. And then what you need to do is right click that new database that you just created and say add path to database. And what you can do there is go down to wherever all of your sound effects live, wherever they are on your computer, and point your computer towards that folder. So I could theoretically go to my external hard drive, find any one of these folders, and then call it good. And then what will happen is that all of your sounds will kind of populate within a list, basically based on the folder that you choose. And then after that, you'll be able to type in words like fire and it will automatically search for the metadata and in the file name itself to find anything with the word fire within it. So you'll be able to look for your sounds, however many you have, much, much, much faster than you would have just looking in Finder or in Explorer or anything like that. Again, if you're using Soundly or ADSR or anything like that, totally fine. It works the exact same way. I just like using Reaper's built-in one, again, because it's faster. Now, whenever you add new sounds to your folder, kind of the folder that all your sounds live in, I just have a giant one where all my sounds live in, you can right click and say scan database for new files. So if you add in a new sound library into wherever your libraries live, you can say scan database for new files after you right click on your database and it will add whatever new files that you put into there really, really quickly. So you can keep your list updated. Now, there are some fun features that this Media Explorer can do for us. So I'm gonna find a random sound, I'll just kind of click wherever. Sure, great. So let's say we have this kind of hammer sound from a metals library that I have. What we can do is we can turn up and down the audition volume, so what the volume is that we're listening to the sound at. So now it's much quieter. So I usually keep this pretty low so I don't hurt my ears as I'm looking up sounds. So this is the volume that you're listening to it at. It's not the volume that you're going to import the sound at. And you can also change the pitch of what you're listening to the sound at. So you can hear what it'll be like when it pitches down using this pitch wheel right here. So I can pitch that down. Let's say I'll pitch it down by negative six semitones. And now it's lower pitch, so I can say, oh, that does sound good at lower pitch. Cool, I'm gonna drag that in. So you can do a few fun features like that. You can also loop the sound, so you can hear it over and over as you're changing maybe the pitch parameter. 
And to import the sound, there's a few ways we can do it. We can just double click it and it'll create a new track for us right up here. And what will happen is that you'll see the whole file here. It'll make a new track for us and I'll name that track based on the file name of that sound. So now it's just within our project. No problem. Great. So easy to import. What we can also do is we can find a sound that we like. Let's say it's this one. We can click and drag a portion of that waveform down here at the bottom. So let's say we only want this section of the sound file and that's all we want to work with. We can highlight using click and drag and then click and drag just that section up into Reaper and we can create a new track or drag it onto an existing track, however you want to do it. So just like that. And now we have that section right there ready for us to use. So super easy to use, very intuitive and makes things much, much faster when you have a ton of sounds that you're gonna use within your library. Now there is one more feature that I wanna show you with this Media Explorer, but before we get into that, I'm gonna get some tea with my good boy Thane. Now, here we are back in Reaper, and I've kind of deleted all the old stuff that we had earlier just so we can start much cleaner. But one feature I want to show you is something called Play Through Selected Track. And what that allows us to do is take any of these sounds that we're auditioning and actually play it through one of the tracks that we have inside of Reaper itself. Now, that may seem kind of pointless. Why would we need to play a sound through a track that already exists when we can listen to it right here? The reason is, is that we can actually put a bunch of effects on a track and then have those effects affect the sounds that we're auditioning so we can hear what they're gonna sound like with a bunch of effects on it. So I'm gonna show you an example and don't worry if you don't know how to put effects on a track or even create a track or anything like that. Don't worry about this just yet. We're getting into that in future videos. So what I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna put a bunch of effects on this very first track right here that we have. Okay, so what I did was I put a reverb, a pitch shifter, and an EQ on this track. I didn't really put them in any particular setting or anything like that, but this is just so you can hear that I can actually now audition sounds inside of the Media Explorer through these three effects by using the play through selected track option. So let me show you where that lives. So I'm just gonna find a sound. Sure, I'll just click that one. And when I go down to this kind of bottom left-ish corner right here, you'll see this icon with three stripes. And when I click that, there will be an option called play through selected track. So instead of just outputting straight to my headphones, I'm gonna play through the selected track. So I'll click that. So now whenever I audition a sound, it's actually gonna play through this track. And I'm gonna turn this fader down so it doesn't get too loud or weird or crazy. And now whenever I audition a sound, it's gonna play through this track, which has three effects on it every single time. So now it has reverb, EQ, and pitch shifting on that track. So I'll just click another sound. Let's get out of this category. Might be a little too low pitched. So if I need to quickly audition a sound and hear what it's gonna sound like with a series of effects, this is a really useful option. All right, that's it for today's Bite Size video. Thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it. If you wanna get more videos on Reaper for Game Audio, of course, hit like and subscribe and all that sort of good stuff. And if you're interested in building a career in the game industry, sign up for my newsletter where you get two free courses that teach you how to network and negotiate in the game industry and actually find paying work no matter where in the world you are. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.